Hey peeps, I am Mooby. It's any time for another kind of tutorial slash, uh, you know, look at the the Z cam thing. Uh, here's the Z cam. <laughs> um, yeah, as promised, um, we're going to try and do some lockdown type stuff. Um, because you see, we as filmmakers, when we have this weird situation that we're in in the world at the moment, have to learn to adapt. So. In an ideal world, I would be in the studio with all our studio lights and everything else like that. I haven't got that. I'm stuck in the super shed. I have literally one light <laughs> um, and no way of leaving the facility because, uh, you know, we're locked down until March. So I'm going to try my best with some household objects and, you know, just mess about with the Z cam, get used to it, get used to the settings, do some slow mo and basically involve the house so the best household object in my case is bourbon um so we're gonna do some shots with bourbon maybe make a little ad out of it if it turns out all right i don't know what i do know is i need to stop waffling and get everything set up so back in a sec Okay, so as you can see over here, we've got our um, table expanded and a it's just a black a black roller blind. Um, they're, they're like twenty pounds, so you know, got that delivered. Um, what we are going to be doing in the Team Reflector office once we get it is have a black uh, Misu, you know, black two point black three point background, so you get that infinity thing going on. First thing, of course, though, um, what we've got to do is set our exposure and everything, which is on the little screen down here um, on the Z cam. Now, like I say, I'm just going through this bit by bit because uh, I'm showing you what on the screen what this is seeing. But this is fully auto. This is like fresh out of the box. It's all on fully auto. In a moment, it's picking up an automatic ISO of 4000, <laughs> shutter speed of 1 over 30. Um, and a temperature of 4700 Kelvin, which is nah. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm going to connect my phone to it, but I'm going to, I want to try and remember, you know, get a, a feel for using the buttons. And the buttons on these are a lot better than the Zcam E2, um, because this is the flagship body. So these have got like plastic, clicky, tactile buttons, whereas the Zcam E2 have these like rubberized things. And um, from what I'm told from people who own them, they're not as, you know, they're not. They're a bit mushy, whereas these are actually quite nice. Um, I've just looked up the native ISO of this camera. It's a dual ISO, so in normal mode, it's 500 or 2500. Um, and with wide dynamic range on, it's 250 or 1250. Now, I don't think I'm going to bother with wide dynamic range on because we're just, you know, static object and we want to try and create as black a background as possible. Obviously, I'm going to be closing these windows in a bit. Um, so I think we're going to go with an ISO of, of 500. That's on the exposure button here. So we're going to press OK. Auto ISO, no thank you. And we'll go to 500. And that, by using the, um, if your cameras have native ISO, um, by using the one of the two native ISOs, you get the minimum amount of noise in the shot, which is what we want, because we want to try and get a black background. So um, I think 500 there, that's fine. And then I think we just press menu to come out. There we go. Um, the aperture, I can't, I can't control the aperture on this one because it's a photo lens. Um, and that'll do for the, um, for the ISO settings. Okay, so we've got our settings dialed in now. Um, we're going to do a bit of slow-mo because I want to um, basically spin a light around this just to see what it looks like, really. Um, and we have set it for slow motion. Um, so if you can see just there, um, well, you probably can't because this is a mobile phone and it doesn't focus very well. There we go. So we've got a variable frame rate, so that's uh, 160. Um, obviously your um, shutter speed is, is double of 160 um, 
ISO I've set now set to 2500. So as you can see from the image here, it's very, very dark. Um, that's because obviously the shutter is going faster, 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 faster. So it needs a higher ISO to let more light in. That is the next native ISO on this camera. We have set our, we've got a light. And as you can see, now we can see what's going on. So this light is set to 4,500 Kelvin. So I have set the um, temperature, temperature here to the, to the same to match. Hopefully that'll work quite well, um, but we'll see. And I'm just going to basically... I'm going to close this blind and then I'm going to swap over, swap over to the camera now. Uh, so you'll be looking through that and uh, we'll see what the shot looks like for now. And then next, we'll, we'll put some... Alrighty then, so you are now looking through the Z cam itself. Um, all the lights and everything and all the blinds are down. So if I move this out of the way, it's pitch black in here. So what I'm going to try and do, I've got the light on a... This little tripod with a little ball head, what I'm going to try and do is kind of move it around a bit and see what happens. So um, we are recording. Okay, back to 24p now, and uh, yeah, I'm just trying something else here. I've got a mobile phone light going through, bouncing onto the floor and through the through the whiskey. I think if it was a full bottle, it might have a better effect. But our light is just just here, just off thingy. Um, as you can see, because I'm got the um, all the professional stuff, I haven't got any anything to kind of stop the light going onto the background. Whereas, which is another reason why you want to use like Musu paint or whatever in the background or black 2.0 because that'll just absorb all the light and all you'll just get is this in like a dead space you know so i'm quite i'm happy with that um i can't watch the playback because my monitor only does what uh, 160 so um we'll assume that went okay you'll know before i do um next we're going to just do like a normal product shot like this maybe a maybe a pan of some kind so maybe we can do you know something like that probably that way just a little bit of movement like that but we're going to do that and then we're going to get our glasses set up i'm going to find something to make you know here we go this is my um notebook for, for my vlogs maybe i can uh maybe i can stop that yeah that's better look get it more on the actual product you know but i kind of like the little um it's going from dark to light that way that's not bad actually turn this turn this down a little so I'm making a shutter here as you can see so I've got my light I can't quite see because obviously the camera's quite close to the actual thing but we've got this light here and then we can kind of shutter it so I'm gonna I'll go for a bit more of a doubt depends on how where you put your lights because there's your down light you know and you can kind of kind of like that shot there but then you, you want to stop it you want to flag it that's what they call it you've got to flag it so it looks a bit more like that you see but now i'm gonna have a little play um you'll see the shots at the end and now we're going to swap to our um to our glass and see if we can get some slow motion water droplets going on so i'll see you in a sec all right so next shot we have got our bourbon in the background there the light is, I don't even be able to see this, but the light is uh, in between the glass and the bourbon here, pointing this way towards the lens a little bit. And then what we're going to do is do that and then, uh, whoops. So we start like there and then we go to there and then drop some water in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And I've raised the tripod up a ways because we, we're dealing with water and things and I don't want to get stains on this black background. So I'm going to put in it, I'm putting the actual glass on a tray. You just can't see it. Um, swap lenses as well um, to a fully manual 1975 uh, Viltrox. I think it's a Viltrox. Oh no, it's a uh, Marexa. Um, 28mm um, because you've got full um, 
aperture control on this the I tried a 24 and a 50 a nifty 50 it's just what I've got in the house you know again adapting with what you've got you know the cinema glasses up here in Doncaster with Nick um, tried that and yeah they don't really work very well I mean they're all right but having been able to open and close the aperture manually with these manual lenses like this you know you get that whole bokeh thing you know out of focus loveliness going on so uh, and obviously you've got to make sure this glass is nice and clean as well uh, but it's as you can see it's very 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 shallow but if we want if we close down the aperture a bit just a little bit we can see it, you see i'm going to put a bit going to put some liquid in here and hopefully we'll get a drop going like that might be a bit close i don't know but we'll see how it goes okay now we're gonna have a little bit of fun um we've got to put some ice cubes into that glass um before we pour our our tea bourbon in so what i'm going to do is just basically put these ice cubes on uh this is a a cloth from my wood, woodworking shop um and we're basically going to go clunk you know put, get it loose and go and pull it tight and it should flick it up in front of this light um here in slow motion and it's going to be about here i focused on my hand here so hopefully this will work out Oh, not high enough. It took a couple of attempts as you can imagine, but I think I got a couple of good shots in the end. So all that's left to do now is to stick it into Resolve and uh, colour grade that background as best we can to try and make it infinity black. And then you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your fing hands! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit, fit.